small children are just amazing little sponges. And to work around them and with their parents, more importantly, is sort of where it all starts. Rather than taking a child, say, at seven or eight, and here, sit down and play this. You have children learning their primary instrument from the time they're very, very tiny through the modeling of their parents and caregivers. I was trained as a piano teacher mostly and sang and played instruments my whole life and taught piano for a lot of years and found that a lot of children just didn't seem to, um, they didn't really be, weren't really comfortable singing and moving. So eventually I found music together, did the training uh, about 16 years ago and it has just been wonderful. In these early years, they can absorb every, anything you throw at them. For adults, it's a lot harder to learn this stuff. For children, it's, it's easy. It's just like everything. It's like language. They just pick it up. But you have to provide them with that environment that's rich in adult modeling, parent modeling, and a rich array of music and experiences. La, 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 la. The connection that the that children have with their important adults their parents, their, their grandparents, and their caregivers. Uh, the musical connection is, is very, very, very strong. There's um, all kinds of theories about the endorphins that are released when we, when we sing together. And there's the, the parent-child, um, the importance of that connection, but there's also the musical community, the greater musical community. So the other parents in the group are also modeling for every child in the room, as well as their own child. Um, most of the important stuff happens, I should say, at home between classes. Uh, the classes are wonderful, but at home is where the experimentation happens. The class is sort of like a, um, a child's lab. So they go home and they test their hypothesis about music by doing it at home, by experimenting, by singing. And we hear this, we know this because parents tell us this all the time. I just love how it's introduced music into our lives. You know, I think normally it's it's not as uh, ingrained in our culture as maybe it used to be. It's just wonderful to have that fluency enter into our world. The kids, they dance and sing all the time. It's great because the teachers allow the kids to be kids. So sometimes they are running around or doing different things. And so I think it lets them experience music in a really natural way for kids. Don't you wish that you could flap your wings and fly? Woo, 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 woo! It's a lovely bonding time, yeah. You can sing together and you can do instruments together. You can just be spontaneous together. I think it brings families together and it brings people together as well. Yeah. I think it's great to learn at such a young age and really kind of get it infused into their brain. What we've learned in music together is that there's a period of growth for when you pick up music and when you learn music and the more you can expose your child at a young age to music then it enables them to learn it and be able to have music as part of their life and, and sing and, and dance and learn all the rhythms um, as an adult as well. I didn't grow up with any music so for me it's a really safe place to sing music with my child in a way that doesn't have to be perfect and um, it's just really fun. <laughs> I was just saying my husband and I uh, we fight over who gets to come to this class over any others. <laughs> I give him swimming. <laughs> It's very rare in our culture that adults sing together. We don't know any of the same songs anymore. So to have, so music together every semester, everyone gets the same set of, uh, of recordings. And so we break it down into harmonies, we do rounds, and we have these wonderful experiences making music together, which is a rarity. And so the children, of course, are part of that because they're there, it's immersive. And what we're trying to create is music immersion, is. just like language immersion, it's the same sort of thing. Rather than sort of trying to get children to do anything in particular, it's creating this immersive environment where children just learn from being in it, just like language, just, it's just the same as language development. Yeah. Instruments, instruments, play a lot. Instruments, instruments, play a lot. 
it's about learning to love music in environments where you're comfortable and trying to get them comfortable in the class environment, but also bringing the music home and having it be part of your life at home and part of your day. Just making music fun and part of life. They're learning rhythm and melody and a little bit about music theory without knowing about it, so they think they're just playing, but they're learning a bit of music too. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. La 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 la. 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 La 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 la. I'm gonna shake you. We joke that we should actually call it music together for adults. Because really, when, uh, when families come in the very first session that they've never been before, um, you know, it's kind of a lot, oh, we're going to sing with these people that we don't know. But then the children are there as sort of as, as the buffer, and they sing for their children, and that's the most important part. And so we're in the middle of the party. It's just the best thing ever. It's like you're at a party. Music is for everybody. Music is for everyone. Being silly with music, that's the access point. Play with music. That's what we do in music together. Everything is play. What do you like about music? Everything. Would you say this is good for all kids to come and do? Why? Yeah. Because it's fun.